Good morning YouTube. This is another edition of Tool Shed Tuesday and what I want to talk about this morning is uh, some new property that Teresa and I bought. We've got 40 acres right now that we're uh, out on and um, we are about a mile, mile and a quarter off of a lake right back behind us actually the way the camera's pointing and up on that lake there on the north end of that lake there is this ridge that goes up from the lake property up onto this large ridge so we basically bought the whole north end of that lake we bought three five acre pieces of property so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go explore that piece of property I'm gonna have to work my way there through all the snow and whatnot but once I get there I'll snowshoe around the top of the property and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the best building sites where we're thinking about building a new cabin so I've got all the materials for the most part things that I need still a lot more that I do need but I'm looking for building sites now I've been looking at this property for about six years it is on the south side so the Sun is always hitting it because it is elevated so we are both very excited about it and today I'm gonna go explore that and I'm gonna bring you guys along but I've got to wait a couple hours for the Sun to come up so I can actually go do this but like I said I've been looking at this property for six years and every time I cross the lake trying to go to a neighbor's house I always look over at it and I've always said man I just wish I had that piece of property right there because it's elevated it'll have lake views and I'm pretty hopeful that it also has the Alaskan range views I'll be able to see Denali Mount Foraker and the entire Alaskan range that's best case scenario if I don't get to see that I'll at least be able to get to see Mount Yenlo, Shell Hills and the lake so I'll take that trifecta but if I can also get the Alaskan range Denali Mount McKinley yeah I'll take it so today's an exciting day I'm just raring to go I'm kinda jacked up with coffee right now so in a couple hours when the sun when light comes out let's hope today's a sunny day when light comes out I'm gonna head that way and trail has not been broke down to the lake so this should be pretty exciting to say the least so I'll bring you guys along for all of that and uh, yeah really looking forward to go scouting this property out and just checking the elevation of it now I have talked to one neighbor out here who grew up out here many years ago and uh, he says that the whole area over there up on that ridge and whatnot is real springy so we'll see what that means so I think there's springs all over the place or natural water up on this ridge but I'm really excited to go check this out so if you guys will bear with me I gotta wait a couple more hours to uh, for the Sun to come out and then I'm gonna go check this property out I'll bring you guys with me so you'll be able to see it with me and just know that these three five acre pieces of property we've bought the whole north end of this lake oh boy really looking forward to it to see what type of elevation there is what type of views there are and what type of good building sites there are because right now we're kind of down in this little valley and we don't really have many views I want that million dollar view of the Alaskan range or at least of a couple little mountains that are around here or I'll even take the lake view so anyway I'll bring you guys with me in a couple hours and uh, I'll see you then alrighty alright guys so I'm down here trying to make my way to my new property me and Teresa's new property and uh, just to get here I've been telling you guys about how deep the snow is out here and just how brutal it's been this winter I don't have the type of machine for this type of snow it's too deep it's too powder so this is what happens machine just absolutely dives down and it's it can't push through other machines can mine can't so right now I'm snowshoeing it I'm gonna snowshoe all the way down to the lake once I get to the lake I'm gonna make a left go to the north end of it and start to view my property and I'll pick you guys back up there alrighty okay guys I'm about 10 to 12 minutes down the trail right now this is the direction that I just came from as you can see I am snowshoeing down this it's a pretty good incline going downward so if going downward was that tough going upward is it going to be even more tough but let me go ahead and show you this lake where we bought the property and I'm going to snowshoe over there to the edge of the forest but I'm going to use a moose 
trail this time instead of breaking my own. So here's the little lake we're on, guys. Well, we're not on it. We live off of this, but Okay, so you see that whole north end over there? See that big hill in front of you? We own just to the left of that. All the way over to there. And if you ask me, you see that big hill in front of you? That's going to be our best spot for a cabin but I gotta get over there first. So, it's all wishful thinking until I actually get over there and survey the property. All right guys, I'll pick you up down the trail a little bit further. I'm not gonna film me snowshoeing in because all you're gonna do is hear me huffing and puffing. So uh, I am gonna pick up a moose trail that I, I can see goes all the way over there. I'm gonna let the animal do the work for me. So I'll just walk his trail. Once I get over there, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn back around and stomp another path all the way back up to my machine and then get my machine down here because I well we'll see all right guys I'll pick you up later okay guys I am further down the trail I'm using this moose trail in front of me you might be able to see it back behind me or maybe the, the lights not so well all this gray and white maybe blurring it out but I am using a moose trail that walked on this lake makes it so much easier but I'm further I'm far enough down the trail now I'm gonna turn you guys around and uh, give you a little bit more of a close-up. Okay, so we own from that dip that you see right in front of you, right there. All the way to over there, that top tree line that you can see. So that is three five-acre tracks of land. And I tell you what, the closer I get, the taller that hill in front of me is looking. So, uh, in future, how I'm going to cut a trail up to that through the forest, that's a whole nother summertime video. All right, guys, I'll pick you up a little bit further down the trail. Okay, guys, I just stomped a trail back up to my machine, six or seven hundred yards, and I'm about to attempt to go down to the lake now on a snow snowshoe pack trail in this deep snow. So I'm gonna strap you guys on the head and we're gonna do this together. And uh, let's just pray to God I don't get stuck again because I don't like digging this machine out. Here we go. I'm just gonna feather my way down there. I'm not gonna try to press anything, I hope not. And I just sunk down three feet. Guys, that right there is the reality of this deep snow and this type of machine. So once again, I've got to stomp all this out, dig it out, and keep pressing forward. So we got a whole 65 feet. Come to Alaska, they said. It would be fun, they said. Catch you guys later. <sighs> Come on, baby.
stuck again. And this is just the way of it, guys. That's what happens. It just dives off. As soon as you get off the trail, game over. So, you gotta go in front of it, pack a trail for those skis to run on. Right the ship.
All right, stuck again. You don't try to force these issues. Just gotta get out, pack it down. So where your skis and your tracks, get some grab. down so far.
All right, made it home. <laughs> you now see what I'm talking about, this deep snow and packing your trails. That was unpacked snow and you just dive down and it's game over. If you try to reverse, your tracks just spin. I know there's probably 13 year olds in Minnesota laughing at me going this idiot can't use a snow machine, but it is what it is guys. So I'm gonna go back down there and pack that trail a couple more times today, but I believe Teresa's got breakfast going and right now I'm hungry. All right guys, I'll pick you back up.